Right, now then everybody, how are we all doing? Right, today we're just on a bit of electrical fencing. So I just thought I'd do a little quick video how um, we do our electrical insulators for electric fence. I'm uh, putting these on, if you can see that. Little insulators on the end. So you put your electric wire through there and a tightener and pull it tight. So I just thought I'd do, just show you how we do these. Quite simple really, get some wire, twist him round like that, and I uh, pull him back out, loop him through underneath there, like that. Pull him back as tight as you can. And then put a little twist in. Don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah. I think. Not sure if I've got my camera in the right place. Is that right here? Yeah. Pretty sure you can see that. So yeah, I just loop him round there a few times. Like that so. Yeah, it's been a while since last last video. But really, we've only really been doing a bit of fencing after I've got round with fertiliser. I've got the second dose to go on on everything on all the silage land. Uh, 300 and 380 acre I think first cut this time right so there get me egg feed it on get him somewhere close I want him there somewhere so he misses that stir so I'll go about there little twist Then a twist of that like so. There we just, this is, uh, well, call it farm number two, where the heifers are. We we'll just put electric fences around everything. Stop them pushing on stone walls. It's all stone walls, so we'll put electric fences up. At least then, when they get back to the herd, milking herd, they'll be used to electric fences then. Another bit of wire somewhere. There we go. So, yeah, get them used to it, won't it? Right, so just start with that, like so. Put a twist in. I think I've gone it wrong way with that one. That's it, that way. Back up top. And just pull him out a bit. And pull that tight again. If you do this, it's uh, you don't only put in alkathene pipe round posts and uh, alkathene pipe, it fills with water, then it rots your wire, and you don't get a very you don't get a very good electrical connection really all the time through it. You see, these look tidy, that I mean it won't snap at all, there's no way you'll snap it. You won't be able to winch it tight enough to snap it anyway. There we've got one going that way and then two going that way, two going this way. Thread that 
through that. Bend him over like so. And keep your twist as tight as you can and as tidy as you can. I'm just going around putting these on today. Someone else is going around putting stays in. We'll get all these in, insulators in, then we can start putting wire up, pulling it tight. Just snip your tail off. That's that. So yeah, quite a tidy, to tidy finish there, and that can't. It can't pull it through. All it's doing is pulling it tight all the time. Right, so uh, that's it really for this quick one. It's uh, not a lot of really about else to to uh, say or show you. But I just thought I'd quickly show you how we do them. So another hole through there, just feed your wire through there and put a tensioner in the wire and pull it tight. So, right guys, I'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Jerry up.